Let's look at different ways to make slow motion in Blender for everything. So we can see that uh, we have slow motion for the particle system. I have slow motion for the rigid body and slow motion for the character. But we're also going to look at slow motion for fluids uh, like smoke and uh, water simulations. Let's start with a particle system slow motion. Let's add a particle system. Hit play. This is our particles. We want them to be really fast. So I'll just give them a velocity, a normal velocity. Like that and to make things more interesting i'm going to add a turbulence force and uh, a lot of particles maybe let me change the object into a rock to make things more interesting so go to render object and that just randomize everything so now our particles are rocks to turn them into slow motion just go under physics integration the time step is going to control the speed of your animation so we have that 0 0.04 is your normal speed if you go below that let's animate it to 0 0.01 we get slow motion so i think i need to go i need to go down even further so 0 0.001 that we have uh, that just bring the lifetime up perfect and you can just bring these keyframes back so we maintain the slow motion up to here and then go back to the speed you want so bam and then zoom. slow motion now let's do a fluids slow motion and i'm going to do this using quick fluid so if i go to object quick effects liquid if i hit if i play you get that let's add some slow motion to this just select the domain go under time scale one is normal speed you can slow this down you just go under one so you do point one now if we simulate we get slow motion i can hold that slow motion for a while and then go back to normal speed and boom maybe can repeat this again no more speed and then go back to slow motion here so boom boom bam just like that what else what else uh let's try smoke again i'll go object quick effects quick smoke we have our smoke let's say it's not fast enough uh, let's do no more of 10 still not enough 100 we have that now this again you just look for the time scale and do the same thing so below zero below one it's going to give you slow motion that's too slow let's do point one again you can hold the slow motion by just duplicating these frames and then let's go back to speed slow and then back up to speed next let's try rigid bodies so you have a plane and this is going to be our rigid body and uh, let me just extrude this let me use cell fracture quick effects cell fracture let's do 200 i have that Hit play, nothing's happening. Let's make this a rigid body system. Object, rigid body, active. Now uh, this should be passive. Okay. Now uh, this time you go to the to the scene tab. Under rigid body, you have this speed option. So let's slow things down around there. And then, yeah. Like that. Again, hold the speed and then go back to the original speed to normal speed just like that you can also create super slow motion for characters for example i have this character running but i want them to continuously run first i'm going to go to the curve editor just to make this easier and uh, remove the forward movement i think that would be this let me see yep i'm going to remove that so that they're jumping in one place that way I can easily actually I don't need these keyframes that way I can duplicate this 
and loop this animation for as long as I want. Okay, but I also want them to keep moving forward, so I'm just going to parent them to an empty. So add that and just grab this, parent this to this. Okay, now I can animate this. Uh, I like to set the keyframe handle type to vector so that there isn't any slowdown. I think that's good enough. There are several ways you can slow this down. If you get, if you go anywhere on the keyframe on the timeline, uh, select the keyframes you want to slow down like this and uh, make sure that your, your cursor is where you want the slow motion to start. In the timeline, if you hit S, you can scale down, you can scale up the keyframes, giving them more space, which will slow them down so we have that but you see it creates a few issues you lose a lot of control and uh, yeah i don't like doing it that way so what i usually like to do i keep everything as is and uh, then i just go to the nonlinear editor so i have animation for the for this empty and also animation for the amateur so i just turn them into these actions now I just look at where I want to have them animated have them slow down so let's say around here then on both actions I can hit Y and that will split them into two layers so then I can figure out where my slow motion wants I want my animation slow motion to end so let's say around there at frame 65 I can again split that area with Y. Now I have three uh, actions for each instance. I can move this to where I want the animation to stop, the slow motion to stop, and uh, come to here, where this animation is, and then scale that, that area that I've split, and that should s slow down the animation. So I can come back here. Now you see everything is well timed, and uh, I can speed this up or slow it down just like that. Now, if I want it to be even more slower, I can just add more space here and scale this up. Make sure that my cursor is where I want it, where it should be. And just scale this up just like that. And now we have super slow motion. And that's what I did for this. I animated the particle system, the time, uh, the integration time step. So you can see it changes to 0 0.01 there to slow down those particles. For the rigid body, you just have to go in the system itself and uh, just slow that down. Again, for the rigid body system, I did the slow motion under the nonlinear editor because I wanted it to match with the animation here. So you can see the scene action. Uh, that is the same action. So if I go to edit, I can go, if I tab into the, this action and go back to the to the curve editor, you can see that I'm animating the same time. Like that. See? And that's it. Maybe one more thing. If you want to get better at VFX, you might want to invest into add-ons like Arabidi Lab for the best destruction and VFX effect in Blender. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.